Hello, hello, this is Simone. Before I start telling you what I did and why I did this today, I just want to point out that these items that you see me unpacking right now are um, items that usually come in the scrapbooking and day in the life kit from Coco Daisy. This is from the planner, planner add-on and dashboards, but the pile in the middle, that is stuff that actually comes in the uh, day in the life and scrapbooking kits. And if you love these things, then you should definitely consider subscribing. So what I am doing today is I make myself a dashboard for my personal size traveler's notebook. I started doing that for the very first time last month in March and I really liked just having something pretty in my planner. I'm usually not someone who does something just for prettiness sake if you might call it that. Um, I usually have to have a purpose to do something like when I scrapbook I want to tell a story and um, yeah but I really loved that this dashboard greeted me in the front of my traveler's notebook and since I downsized to a uh, personal size traveler's notebook I did not have a, an actual folder where I could put that dashboard in. So what you see on the right is a folder that I made from craft cardstock, paper bags, um, what else, a clear um, folder, pH, page protector, and um, just some scrapbooking paper. And now I am uh, going to cut down this paper to the size that will fit in to that um, folder. If you are interested in how I made this folder, you will have to come back on Sunday where I share how I made this. For now, this is only a process on how I decorated my dashboard. Coco Daisy has actually has dashboards in personal and in uh, A5 size. However, they would not fit into this um, pocket that I created for my dashboard. So I decided not to cut um, one of them down, but to be a little bit more creative and use what I have here to be, yeah, just make it more, not more interesting because the Coco Daisy things are really lovely, but um, I just wanted to play and so that's what I did. So now I'm layering some some scrap piece of card, not cardstock, um, pattern paper with this journaling card, but it's I think the journaling card is too big, so I decide to cut it down and yeah. I end up only using that dandelion from that card and that really I really need to find a place where to put the quote because that is a really lovely quote and that's actually the reason why I chose that um, journaling card. So sometimes fuzzy cutting or things don't go out as don't come out as planned and you have to adjust. I really like the dashboard in the end but I'm also um, a bit sad that I wasn't able to incorporate incorporate the printed quote. So now this looks a little bit too boxy for me so I'm trying to round the corners with my with my scissors and then uh, no I don't like that then I decide maybe if I cut the quote off and put it somewhere else that could work but for now I'm starting to glue down the pattern paper. I mark the where I have to trim it, trim it down and then use the glue to put it down. This was in our March planner kit and this glue is amazing. It is one of the few um, of these kinds of glues that actually stick. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then um, I have recently made bookmarks, bookmark tags, where I used a lot of mixed media and I was, I really loved doing that. So I decided to um, do something very similar to that and layer many different things, washi tapes and stickers and stamps. Um, it's not, it's not turning out the same way. It's not as, as um, well, mixed media-ish 
in the end as I would have liked. But nevertheless, I really like how it turned out in the end. So um, when I unboxed my planner kit, you might have heard me tell you that I am going to hoard these clouds. I really love them because they are so, they just, they look just awesome. And so I decide every time I use, um, I work with the kid and I really try to use these clouds just so that I'm not going to be a hoarder because uh, things being used as much are much nicer than having them in your stash and not seeing them being used, right? So you can actually see what the problem is here. The dandelion just doesn't really, um, it's very centered and I would have probably, I probably would like it to be more off center and I couldn't, can't do that with the quote attached to the dandelion. So I'm just, again, I'm, I'm just sticking stuff down and not really overthinking things. I, I'm usually not really using many of those uh, sticker tabs, so I'm trying to use them in different ways. And here, just layering them down with the, as a layering element that really looks, I really love what how they look, even though the clouds are sideways. I don't know, I don't, I don't care. It's, it's a, it's a design element. Uh, it has to be like that. <laughs> so now you can see the quote. Hmm, where should I put it? I want the flower to be more toward the left. And I really like that big camera there. It's a camera from Pretty Little, Little Studio. There is a whole pack of camera die cuts in was in my supplemental envelope that I got. They are really awesome. I really love them. And I will definitely use them in my journal as well. And when I have some left over, I already decided that I'm going to do um, a giveaway after I'm done with my April, um, what is it called, with my April journal. And then I chose this die cut. This is, this today is going to be a great day. Something, it, this is, the essence it is saying is the a die cut that my son who picked his five favorite elements of the kid picked and I just when he picked it I was like yeah you are so right and I really loved his choice and so I decided why not put it right on my dashboard I really again I really love the quote but the boldness of that statement um, is much more visible when you just have it as a dashboard. So I decided against the quote and took this um, die cut. And every time I open my planner now, it tells me today is going to be a great day. And especially today, I really need to know that. Um, then I'm thinking about adding that quote, but um, yeah, I want, only want one um, written focal point um, I think the quote or saying is so important uh, that I don't want anything to interfere with that. So now I'm going through all of the die cuts and think, thinking about where I could put them. Then I've, I'm going to add this tab and I'm just going to staple it with my old stapler because I can't find my tiny, tiny one. And this stapler, I have to tell this story now, is one of those things that I stole from my, my dad's um, home office um, about 20 years ago. And it's probably older than I am. And you know how you um, connect your feelings to items? Like this thing is one of the things that remind me so much of my dad that um, I don't really need to inherit anything else but this, um, this stapler um, to have something of him be with me forever. So I, I actually need to go and I have several things of, for my mom, for my grandma and yeah, for my grandparents that just 
symbolize them or that remind me so much of them that I should actually go around and take photos and make a whole album about them and what what actually makes me um, why I connect so so much meaning to those items um, yeah these stamps are the prettiest stamps ever they are from the day in the life kit from the oh now I'm ho I hope I'm not saying it wrong they are from the March day in the life kit and I love those clouds and so I decided to stamp them on there and yeah the dandel dandelion is already sta um, glued down so I rip it up and add the clouds underneath so that they can stick out from underneath the dandelion and then I'm adding these um, tiny blossoms to the bottom and did, there is actually a Coco Daisy opened up a stamp subscription now where you can only uh, subscribe to uh, the stamps that are in the um, scrapbooking and uh, day in the life kit they yeah maybe you don't really like to scrapbook you don't need that much paper or you don't really need all of those journaling cards this is a great way to get your hands uh, on the stamps without having to buy all of the rest um, yeah so now I'm trying if it fits I need to cut down some some of the things that um, are looking over and then um, the dashboard is done and I'm just going to uh, put the folder and the dashboard into my traveler's notebook to show you what I mean when I say that I have this in the front of my planner I really like how it turned out and yeah thanks so much for watching I'm going to add some a, a little sticker or one or two little more stickers and then I'm done thank you so much for watching come back to my youtube channel on sunday to see how i made the folder and i will also be on the coco daisy blog on sunday so yeah see you then bye <laughs>